All right, today I want to talk about the calendar. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So you're going to use the calendar for uh, the assignment that we're going to use. We're going to start soon. And the calendar is one of the features in Google, uh, the Google Apps that's really useful. So I really want you to learn how to use it, and it's so simple. Uh, on the screen, you see an example of my calendar. And I'm going to just start quickly by saying this is what's called the month mode. So how do I know I'm in month mode? Well, because the month button is highlighted. So if I click on another button here and I got week mode, this shows me this following week. It's all the way up to Sunday. And by the way, you can change how uh, or when your calendar starts. You can make your calendar start on Sunday if you wanted. Uh, this is all over here under the gear icon. I'm not going to really go into the settings right now. This is just a basic introduction. Or you can also see the day mode. Uh, there's all kinds of different types. And like on the school website, I have posted the agenda mode. So every day when I look at the agenda mode, I know exactly what's going on that day. I know I have my yearbook class. I know that uh, we're selling yearbooks in front of the cat class. I know that senior girls volleyball are practicing. So I know everything that's happening today. Because just in case you're wondering, we'll go back to the month mode. The different colors are represent different calendars. So over, for me, I have several calendars. For most of you, you'll probably, when you create a calendar, you'll only have one. Uh, the Mark Dubot, this is my M Dubot at OTHS at OCDSB calendar. So you guys, it'll probably say your student number, S069999, whatever, right? And uh, you know, you can add extra calendars. Like at the bottom, you get you just search and you add them. I won't show you how to do that here. It's not so important, but like often I like to add the weather calendar. See, if I click it off, look what happens. All the forecasts disappear. I like to add the Toronto Maple Leaf calendar so that I know when they're playing, which is not at all right now, even though they're still showing up on the... So this is... So how do I how do I use this, sir? I guess that's the first question you're going to ask as a student. Well, it's very simple. I'm going to scroll down to today's date. So today is the 29th. Let's pretend I wanted to add a date today. Well, it's simple. You just click on it. And let's pretend what would be the date? Uh, I don't know. Uh, assignment in in English. Let's pretend. And I want you to know this is a quick add button. So if I look over here, for you guys, you'll have probably only one calendar. For me, I have several. So I was like, oh, well, this is going on the website. So I click that and it, it'll go on the, the website calendar. So the calendar that's on our school website. If I click on this, it's going to go to the yearbook calendar. So I want to put this on my personal calendar. I would click create event and that would be it if I wanted to do a really quick ad. One thing you should know is if you write the actual time, it'll actually put it in during the day at the time. So I want to maybe write, uh, you know, 5 p.m. assignment in English. So let's see. I'll create that and it'll add this event. I'll click on two more. So there you go. There it is. And I could go see in the day mode. What did it do? It added. It should have added my event maybe because the basketball is there oh I'm on the wrong date that might help so it only creates the default for me is it creates the assignment for an hour all right so this is kind of useful uh, what if let me go back to the month mo to show you something so I'm over on the 29th let's pretend I wanted to add more details and this is really useful so I click obviously edit the event so you know, usually when I put events on a calendar, I might want to put some details and say something like for Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Eusen's class. Uh, and then I might want to write Shakespeare. Uh, you know, whatever. You know, whatever. Like, it's up to you. And here's something I really like. If I want this to give me a reminder, and you could actually set this up to work with your cell phone. So, you know, you can add events on your cell phone. I'll show you that later, and it'll go automatically to this calendar. If your cell phone uses your uh, Google uh, school account, or if it uses your Gmail account, I can show you how to set up. This works exactly the same way 
whether you're using your Gmail or uh, whichever account you use. The bottom line is when you set up uh, this account, if you set in, put your cell phone number in here and it's really easy under settings, uh, it'll send you a text saying, yeah, don't forget your assignment with Miss Eusen. How useful would that be for some of you that forget to hand stuff in, right? And you can pick this so that it's a given time. So I want this to give me a, a, a you know, one day ahead of time or maybe just one hour ahead of time. It's all up to you. Then I go up here, click save, and I will actually get a, I'm gonna change it because I don't want a text message because I'm paying for my text plan right now. So I'm gonna put it, uh, get an email. So I'll get an email reminding me of this, okay? I'm actually gonna go back and discard all this because I don't actually want, this is not a real event, so I'm gonna delete this. So this is what I'm gonna ask you to do. I'm gonna ask you to log into your Google Apps right now, and I'm gonna ask you to put three events that are happening this week, and I want, well, I want one of them to be a, a full day event, and a full day event, by the way, how do you know the difference? It shows up in a, in a, in a bar of color. So when I entered these, they were set up as full day events. And I want two of those events to be timed items. In other words, I have a meeting, or even if it's a, I have a class, you know, from one o'clock or 1.15 to, uh, to two o'clock or, or 2.40, uh, you can add that in. Um, just because I want you to practice using this calendar, basically. So add three events, one of which is a full day event, and the other two are not full day events, but timed items. So I'm going to just upload this and then I'm going to take your questions. 